everyone have a safer? It's better with a safer. Safer with a safer. I think there are only eight of them. I have my own. I spent, um, I spent most of the time uh, at the beginning of the last on Sunday describing the Spheros. How this whole system works, Baris. I say Baris, but I don't know exactly how it works. Baris, how it works. Um, not just the seven spheros, which we're a little bit familiar with, but the ten spheros, which start with the Midas Keser. So Keser, Chachma, Bina, Chesed, Gvur, Tiferes, Netzach, Hoy, Malchus, ten spheros, and the. Um, the two, the two Yesodos that, uh, that came out of it without going over the whole thing again is that when we talk about the Spheros, we're talking about probably the best muscle that I can give. Is, uh, we can't understand HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but um, somehow or another through the Darach of Tzimtzum, which is onto itself difficult to understand, um, but through the Darach of Tzimtzum, so if we understand that Kaddish Baruch Hu is, as the Mekubalim gives the mashal of an or pashut, a very clear, simple light that goes through a prism like the thing hanging on your chandelier when you were a kid, you know, that makes the, makes the sun come in and turn into all different kinds of colors like a rainbow. So um, these are the, um, the seven basic colors of the rainbow and the ten is those that are beyond even our uh, comprehension. But, so sort of the prism, the, the, the prism or the filter of the light and what it does with the light, what is it, what's happening over there is it's breaking up um, the light into its finest components. So it's all there in the Orapashit, but it's not something that we can see in terms of Gavonim, in terms of different shades of light. It's all there, but it's only broken up through a prism. And even there, there's those that you see and those that you don't see. And the Kesser is that, that Kesser, that which is above the Zion Midas, the Kes, let's call it Keser, Chachma, and Bina, to leave Das on the side for a bit, as I explained last time. Um, that's, that's even beyond our understanding. So, I um, mentioned once, the, uh, just, to, just to have a seer in our mind, uh, once, once the words of the Arizal, the Arizal says that uh, if you see a rainbow like Noah did, the rainbow has the, the, the shot in a white rainbow when the you know like a big fountain or something a white rainbow of all of all the doing is the rainbow um, represents the gav the gavone Hashem in other words the difference chesed words if I not so malchus this is for this is the kiyum of the world but uh, the Arizal says that's not a chiddush Arizal that's pasha but uh, that's that was the uh, the symbol of the of the rainbow but on the rainbow you're only seeing the top half. Well, you're only seeing the top half, you're seeing a, a bow. That's it, it's a circle. Mm -hmm. So the other half is under the ground, you don't get to see it. Um, what, it what it refers to is Isarusa de la Elin, Isarusa de la Sata. Which is Bidiuk Ar Limud, that there's, the, there's this, what a Kodesh Baruch Hu's Mashpia and brings into the world. But then we, as the completion, not just the end users of the Hashba of Baruch Hu, okay, we're here in the world, we're, the, we're, we're able to have Hana from the world. But the, as the end users, not as the end users, but as, as the completers of the cycle. Um, so this is the, the part that we don't see. Ironically, we see the part Hashem does, we don't see the part we do. That's, that's, that's ironic. It would, it would make more sense to see the other, to see the bottom half and not be able to see the top half. But the shot is we all, we, we, you can see the deflois haber, what we don't see is our own deflois. We Wait, don't see- We open a cold what we do, but that's higher. So um, that's the whole Tamer Dvar. The whole Tamer Dvar is not just about emulating, it's about understanding that we're B'Tzela B'Lokim. It's not just that we can do what Hashem does, that we're the other half of the circle. For Shabbat B'nai Yisrael is a Shabbos, last is a Shabbos. The first Shabbos is the Shabbos of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to the end of the Bria. And then last is a Shabbos, then to bring it up to the Yom Shekule Shabbos. So the, 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 whole, the whole point is to complete the circle. It's seven a very... Days. It's a very hmm? Seven days is one, is that? Seven days. So, you think Someday. the Kesser is awesome? The, the Kesser we have our own Kesser. In other words, we work in the Kesser too. So we have our own Kesser, but the, the, so to speak, the original Kesser is, is Hashem's. But we're B'Tzala Malakim. So B'Tzala Malakim means that we have these spheros 
to what, what, I'm, what I'm getting at, I want to make sure I'm crystal clear because it's a, it's a, I'm not just playing with words here. What, what I'm getting at is that we see ourselves, I think, in the world as um, having to do mitzvahs, to stay away from our of so behaving in the world, behave while you're in this world, be a nice person, give tzedakah, etc. It's, it's not the pshat. The pshat is that it's, 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 so much, it's so much more profound than that. That, that what Kaddish Baruch created the world, we are the completion, we're there to create the completion of that creation. We're, we're, we're the rest of the rainbow. We're, we're, we're there, like Malachim are there, to put, pull things along. Kaddish Baruch Hu did, could have done everything himself, presumably, but he didn't. Um, he created through Malachim, so we're also like Malachim. But on a higher level, because to be in this world, you know, to be, you know, our man in the in the world, in the Gashmis world, so then you have to have already Bechir and it's a, it's a, uh, that's a much more executive type of Malach. But it's not that we're here to enjoy the world or to use the world or to behave in the world. We're there to carry on the world of Hashem, to make it, to make it what it is. This is, this is a whole different uh, uh, view of ourselves. Um, by understanding what, how, the, how the whole world works. So the Kesser um, keeps on going. So the Doma Lakono is, is it's, it's not, not even that we just have Bechir Chavshis. It's Doma Lakono. We have all the spheres, including the most hidden spheres of HaKadosh Baruch within us, to be able to push things along and make the world the Malchus Hashem. When we do this, we have the Yon Shekula, Shabbos, and Menucha, we have the, 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 the Mashiach. The Shabbos Mashiach is a Shlemus in the world. The Shlemus is what, what, what Mashiach means, what, what Geula means, Geula. Geula, the revelation, means that, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu's world has come to its purpose. Until there's Geula, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, as long as people are killing each other, hating each other, and, and uh, the, the world has not come to its purpose. This is not Malchus Hashem. So the whole point is, is to, to bring the world to become the Malchus Hashem, that which HaKadosh Baruch Hu originally intended. And that's supposed to be done by Jews. Uh, this is our, not that we're supposed to do it, but we're supposed to teach it. Uh, we're supposed to do it, of course, but we're supposed to also teach it um, and be the Ori Amin to be able to, to the world to understand their purpose. Their, their purpose. If people don't understand their purpose, you're going to do all the wrong things. I, I uh, you know, when I was 21 years old, I became the rabbi of a shul. And uh, it was bothering me that the, nobody cut the grass outside the shul. So, so I, okay, like, I'm, I'm in charge here. So I took the lawnmower and I cut the grass, you know, no problem. Cut the grass out of the shul. So the president of the shul came over to me the next day and said, who cut the grass? So I said, I did. So he said, what's up? Well, we're paying you for it. <laughs> so here, okay. Balabas 101. <laughs> okay, it, 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 the the emphasis is that he's right. Like you know, like if we're if we're in the world, and we have a certain tachlis, if we underplay the tachlis even a drop, then we're we're not doing our tachlis, we're not fulfilling our tachlis. So it's a, you know you don't you don't want to pay a surgeon you know a hundred thousand dollars for to to do to wash the floor in the, uh, in, the, uh, in, the in the surgery room even though it needs to be washed. It's it's not it's not. Um, it's not what it's about. So what it's about is carrying on the process. So when we have the Beit HaMikdash, we can play music on Shabbos because that's also seven notes. Yes, sir. that's... <laughs> okay. okay. Um, footnote. <laughs> when we have the Beit HaMikdash, more importantly, um, then that, that's the big simon that the Malchus Hashem is happening. And the Karbonus, Arayach Nechayach Hashem, but it's not just Karbonus. Uh, it's everything is Reich Nefesh and the circle is completed. The cycle has completed, and it becomes the cycle. Then gets better and gets gets uh, gets more lifted, like the rain cycle is a, is always. So um, what, what I'm saying this to point out that our job is to push things along, and our job is does the, the buck doesn't stop here. What is what is really about is taking it further, and that's what the term Dvarah here calls Anivus. Anova, as opposed to its um, most simple shot, uh, is <coughs> its humble modesty. So Kilo Moshe Rabbeinu was an Anami you know, he would have come down from Harsinai, and they said, wow, you know, like, you, you talk to Hashem, Hashem talked to you, uh, whichever is a bigger Chiddush, you know, you got the Torah, 
amazing, you know, and Moshe Rabbeinu come down, you know, you saved Klai Yisrael and the mice of the eagle, you know. Eh, it was nothing. Shum Navar, what? Shocks. Shocks, <laughs> exactly right. Uh, it was a Moshe he says, of course, that's what I did, that's my purpose. That's, that's the honor of Mikol Adam. The honor of Mikol Adam was, that's my purpose. HaKadosh Baruch Hu said to me, let's leave it up here with you and me. We'll figure something out with them. Let's get rid of the, you know, they're not, they're not doing anything. Twice he said that. By Anna Harsina, he said that. By the Baragul, he said that. Twice he said that. Twice Moshe Rabbeinu said the same thing, that this is not the, this is not the tachlis of the, of, the, of the whole business. The, the tachlis is that, that, that you created a Klai Yisrael, a Rabbi Yisrael, a Yaakov. You created a Klai Yisrael. They're supposed to do something over here. And if they don't do it, then the Goyim are not going to do it. Lama, Lama Yoyim Ruha Goyim. If, they, if, you, if Klai Yisrael is not at it, the Goyim are going to do it. The Goyim are going to do it. So what you make the world for? Just, just some kind of a thing run, running around in orbit, some chaos in orbit. There's a tachlis over here. So this is the Yadav Vikalad. It's, it's not an O shucks, as, as, uh, as Rapitcha says. It's, it's a, um, yes, yes, my, 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 my purpose is for you. Without you, I don't have any, I don't have any purpose. So it so gives... So the Kavir HaKadosh Baruch Hu wanted that reaction from him? That's, the, that's his job. Mm-hmm. But you see, like, it wasn't a chutzpah. Let's like, put it this way. It wasn't a chutzpah right, right. because you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. That, 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 that's what you're supposed to be doing. So like, how is he made his dwarf clapping bottle? The answer is, this, is this my job? My job is to be the Sani Goyria HaGadol L'Yisrael. So, um, which, by the way, while, while I'm here, it explains the, the um, Rashi and the Ramban that what Hashem said to him, Lech Reid, Kichot Ha'am, descend the mountain, for the people are doing a chat. So Rashi and the Ramban tells you the whole Lashen is Lech Reid, Rashi says, Migdulascha. What are you even doing here? If the if the Am did a chet, what are you even doing here? As the Rabban adds, it's all Lashon of Chazal. Klum nasati l'chagdula l'bishvil Yisrael. You don't have any Maila ad to yourself. <laughs> the whole Maila that you have is what you're supposed to be giving to Klal Yisrael. There's, there, there really is nothing else but but that. So so lechrei. <laughs> What, what are you doing here? So, so that was Moshe, that was Hashem telling Moshe Rabbeinu, wake up and defend the people. That's exactly what that's exactly what he was telling. Like, wake up and defend the people because if you're not going to do for the people, you see, this is for us an important thing. If if you're not going to figure out what what you by the way, I'm not, I'm not giving any musir here. I'm just saying how the world works. <laughs> this is, here's here's under the hood the mechanism. If you're not going to do for other people, then, then there's no reason why you have the talents that you have, the cause that you have, the money that you have, the personality that you have. It's nothing. It's nothing. I, I, I'm just, uh, you know, if you'll allow me to pontificate for a moment, I'm just like, you know, you grow up, let's say, in, um, in the United States. I don't know how it is in Africa or England, but if you grow up in the United States, it's, it's all about, you know, ambition and what are your goals, you know, and I want to become a millionaire by the time I'm 40. I need to get to drive around on that Jaguar computer convertible when I'm 35, you know. It's all about set your goals, work for your goals. Yeah, I'm not, uh, the, the whole goal is, is a selfish goal. The, the whole goal is what, what have I accomplished? And, and it's, a, it's such an abuse of the entire life and world because I, said, I, mean, I also want to, I, I will not become a millionaire by the time I'm 40. I would see us. <laughs> I missed that part. But, uh, but it, the, whole, the, whole, the whole thing, the whole goal to think about, if we're thinking about our goals as, as, as human beings in the know, is to figure out what I can do for other people, be it my children, my family, their community, Claudia Israel, whatever it might be. So, you know, so I, I was reading an article of, uh, yesterday. I wasn't feeling well, so I was reading an article, I think, in Moment Magazine or something like that. So, um, so it was an article about the, the, uh, the big Yerida of, I think they were talking about Russians, but it could have been anyone, uh, to, to uh, leaving Eretz Yisrael and going in mass to Nova Scotia. Okay. The only thing I know about Nova Scotia is my father told me that he sailed by it and waved. <laughs> it's Nova Scotia. Like, was it interested in the old Scotland or not the new one? Like, it you was know, so Nova Scotia. Locks. Locks, yeah, yeah. Nova Locks. 
right? It's the Yiddish place. Oh, they're, 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 <laughs> they're, 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 what was, what were they saying? Saying something which was so severe, you know, like, uh, came, 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 came from Russia, came to, you know, the, the, the story of a Jew. I mean, they came from Russia. So did my great grandparents come from Russia. I mean, came from Russia, came to Eretz but, you know, and it's certainly better, but, but you have to live in a small apartment on the fourth floor and trip over this, the carriages and you can never really get rich over here. You know, wealthy, wealth, wealth is just for an elite few in Safon Tel Aviv. How many people here are actually going to actually uh, get wealthy? Like it seems to be like you have to be belong to a certain family or something to, to, to go, well, you know, so you move to Nova Scotia, you know, <laughs> Nova Scotia so a big house and two cars in the driveway. So life uh, seems to seems to work. I think Russia is true of all of us as the you know, basic machshava of a person, but they, they had the uh, decency to, to at least articulate it. But uh, what, what, what's wrong with, the, with this? That they're tinoike shenishmu. They don't have the basic enough to understand this. It's not all, that's not what it's about. It's not about having the, 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 the two cars in the driveway or having this. Okay, yeah, fair. But it, that's, how, that, that's how, I mean, I, it's a drag, but that's, that's not what it's about. What it's about is what are you doing for the generation that's coming after you? So I'm telling you, the thing to do for a generation coming after you is not to move to Nova Scotia. Is that that's not where that's not where it's at. So it's like all about continuing. So so let me just before we go inside, I just want to share something with you. I saw the uh, there's a, a wonderful sefer, chassidish sefer, Kabbalah sefer called the Sidur Shal Shabbos. So the Sidur Shal Shabbos, he he writes there, um, you know that there's two mitos. If he, he he's talking about the, the kabbalistic chart of the spheres. So there's two mitos which are opposites and very close to each other. He says there's the op, there's the mita of kina of being jealous, and the mita of pride being proud. <laughs> What's it? like if, you're, if somebody comes over to you and says, "Your son is a gone, an evil anybody feel jealous? <laughs> That's 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 the that's the uh, that's what you spoke. You're, you feel proud. You feel proud. First of all, it says something about me. <laughs> Clearly, you know. Even though we all say, "Oh, that's my wife." <laughs> In fact, I, I brought him up right. Uh, you know, it says something about me. But uh, second of all, uh, it, it, intuitively, that's the whole point. The whole, the whole point is we want our children to be better than us. So it means what we're accomplishing. What we're supposed to be accomplishing, if people say more about my children than say about us, nothing. What can make it? What can give a person more simple? On the other hand, if somebody comes over and says, "Wow, your brother is such a tremendous evil. He's much better than you." <laughs> so, like, what's what's the uh, like? What do you what do you do with that? Like, okay, now I'm not sure whether to feel proud or to feel jealous. <laughs> On the one hand, I'm proud of my brother. It does, it does say a little bit about me? Very little. Um, <laughs> yeah. So an old Polish Yid once told me, he says, like, Asa was much better off than Yaakov, because Asa was able to say, I have a brother Yaakov. <laughs> <laughs> what can Yaakov say? Because <laughs> Yaakov was supposed to say, like, but, uh, okay, so, like, uh, like, all of a sudden, like, you know, the, the Mida of, of pride turns into the Mida of jealousy. If it's not your brother, if it's not somebody else, you know, your classmate, somebody else in the world. So the, the, he, the Sidur Shal Shabbos explains Kabbalistically that the, the two Midos are actually the same Midos, just one is used being, being corrupted and one isn't being corrupted. So the same energy, for instance, which, which allows me to be proud um, can cause me to be jealous if I'm not an Onov. The anav means the way we're understanding anivus is that I'm able to pass things on to next. Understanding that I'm a link in the chain and I'm not the end of the chain is anivus. Anivus doesn't mean, oh, I'm nothing. Anivus means that this is what I'm for on Harsinai to help you. So if I've helped you, I'll be proud of you. If a person would be, let's say, a doctor or a therapist or something, and you've helped someone, so that's your greatest pride. You know, jealous of the person. It's it's a it's a it's a it's a plea out summa to me. By the way, I do even though I'm unqualified for this. I do my uh, my share of shalom bias counseling. Uh, also because because of me, I don't like to push them away, but I don't know how to do uh, uh, shalom bias counseling. But varsha we're but to But uh, like I tell it to me sometimes how husbands and wives are actually jealous of each other. It's 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 an amazing thing. You know, like like you know, instead of being proud of each other. Well, it goes like he gets all the covered, you know. <laughs> she makes all the money. 
like or whatever whatever society we live in, I get mixed up. <laughs> it's it's um, you know that like if you could just take the energy of uh, it's subtle. Nobody's going to say it. It's subtle, but if you could take the energy of jealousy and turn it into pride, so then then you've changed around the whole all, you know changed around the whole chessboard here. And it, it's it's so often um, it's so often the case that jealousy can turn to pride. So you know if you want to do it, I vote. If you see somebody who's who's like um, a goddle, even if you didn't make them into a goddle, but you know, really wonderful personality, very smart, accomplishing a lot. Like to be proud of the person. I'm proud of you. Do you know, do you know that? You know that. Um, you know, we're all we're all looking for nachas. Like the, the, before, we more, more than we're looking for nachas, there's nothing there's nothing no stronger in, a need in the world than for somebody to have nachas from you. you know, like a, you know, you feel when your when your parents pass away. There's nobody left to have nachas for. Who cares if I if I accomplish something? I don't accomplish anything. Like it. you want somebody to have nachas for you. You know, it's a, a you hope in Shabbat maybe they're having nachas for you. Like we want somebody to have a little nachas for us. You know, so you know it's such an unbelievable chesed to do to have some nachas from somebody. Have nachas from another Jew. Wow, I've always I've always had nachas from you. And this this is the this is the ultimate in anivos. If we understand, <coughs> excuse me, if we understand that that it's not about my ambition. This is what I need to get, and and Kilo, you took mine. <laughs> it's about giving over. So then it's a whole different um, story. And that's the anivus that, that the Torah Devarah describes of giving, pay, get, get taking it past you. And the, the following day in Chumash this morning, I was thinking about this. That the 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 Torah says in Baloscha, "Batadaber Miriam ba'aron b'moishal oydois ha'isha hakushis asher lokach." That Miriam and Aaron started to talk about their brother Moshe and the, and the Isha Hakushis. And what did they say? Ayomru, Harak Ach Ben Moshe Tiber Hashem. Like of all things to say, they say, Oh, Mary Hakushis. Ayomru, Harak Ach Ben Moshe Tiber Hashem. How like Gambano Tiber? Hashem only spoke to Moshe. Hashem, but we're also in the Vim. Hashem spoke to Aaron. History records. Hashem spoke to Miriam. Miriam Hanavia. So, so like was Moshe like? What, why was this? What does this have to do with the Isha Kushis? But more perplexing is the Vayishva Hashem. What reaction? Hashem heard this conversation. Mm -hmm. Wow. Vayishma Hashem. Hashem was listening to this conversation. You never know. <laughs> I always know. <laughs> What's the next pasuk? What's the question? Moshe marries an Isha Kushis. And Rashi says, doesn't have relations, separates from him. Moshe, Miriam, and Aaron talk about him. What are they talking about him? We're also Nevi'im. Asma. Somebody told you you're not Nevi'im. Moshe Rabbeinu's reaction is no reaction. Ha'ish Moshe. Anav Ma'od. I think the Ramban said no, no reaction. Ish Moshe Anav Ma'od. He called Adam Asher Alpnei Adam. Anav. I saw the Das. The Kainim spelled Chaser here. Ayin Nun Vav. There's no Yud. If you spell it out, explode those letters. Ayin is Aleph. Ayin Yud Nun. Right. Nun is Nun Vav Nun. Right. And let me explode it out. You come to the Gematria of Ramach. So Ramach. That's the amount. Ramach Ivarim. Shasagidim means that um, he, he was an un of every part of him was an un of Mikol Adam. What's what, what's the what my kesher? The, the kesher is that there was a there was a a um, a quantifiable difference between the nevua of Miriam and Aaron and the nevua of Moshe Rabbeinu. They were tzaddikim, without question. But Moshe Rabbeinu was the Anav Mikol Adam. And this is what Hashem went on to say. That Moshe, Moshe Rabbeinu, his whole Nevua was for Kla Yisrael. It's not about that, you know, well, we've also reached the spiritual high of Moshe Rabbeinu. We're also reached this kind of a, a, a state, um, I don't want to use the Goyesh words, we, we've also straight re, re, uh, achieved this great state. And we're not acting like Moshe. And, and Hashem says, by Yishma Hashem, Hashem listens to this, and then makes a statement, which was written by Moshe, and it's interestingly. It makes, makes a statement that, Ma Kesher, your Nevoah, his Nevoah. 
It's not about, it's not about the, the quality of the Navua. It's not even about Aspaklaria Hameira and Aspaklaria Shein Hameira. It's about Ha'ish Moshe, Anna Mikalata. Everything about Moshe is to give to the next, to the next generation. Everything about Moshe was to save the Jewish people. Everything. So, so you, you, can, you can compare over here your Navua to Moshe Rabbeinu, but you can't compare it in the, in the, in the, in the world of reality because Ha'ish Moshe, Anna Mikalata. And he said that it was the same thing, by the way, when, when Korach said, you know, what, what about me? What about us? Moshe Same thing. He understood, like, true, you know, like, uh, you, we all stood at Harsidai. We're all in the V. We're all Rosh Hashanah. all the time, as the Korach said. But that's true. We're not, but we're not talking about what spiritual experience you may have had. You, maybe you have a higher spiritual experience than I do. But the point is, Vayipo al Panov, the Moshe Rabbeinu was the Anav Mikolodim. It's not about me. I'm, I'm a link in the chain. And being a link in the chain is a whole different story. And being the link and not the end of the chain, you understand, is the difference between being proud of somebody and being jealous of somebody. So when you, whenever you find yourself being jealous of somebody, that means you think, well, it's supposed to smagi Ali. Whereas if you take the energy and just put another link underneath it, then you could be proud. So whenever you whenever you find yourself being, I'm saying this like it's easy, it's not easy, but it's hard. Right? It's a struggle, but, but it's an avoda. Whenever you find yourself being a little bit jealous, um, you, you can turn it into, into pride. Where it says there's only two places where there's no ayin har, which means there's no jealousy. One is that av uh, lebnai or av le tal After that, there's, you know, like there, there's jealousy, both in Gashmi's roughly is according, what, according to whatever your madrig is. But if you you could you could become, you have to imagine like you're just a, you're just a chain, a golden link, but, but you're only a link in the chain, not the chain itself. So, okay. So the um, I didn't find this 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 spear in the Rishonim, but uh, it might have some truth to it. The the um, just, I want to be medayik here the lashon. Tzvi says. That ode. Furthermore, funny way to start a chapter. A person must be like Hashem, like his Creator. And we spoke about the unapproachable, the non uncomprehensible part of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and also the, uncom- the quality, as I called it, the uncomprehensible part about ourselves and our own human brain that doesn't show up in an x-ray. And here what we're being asked to do is to be doma to HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the part that we don't understand. Pumped. You know, dafka what we don't understand, but you be like that. And that's why he says that it's because the who understands the kes. So I just want to point out something that I realized, that if you go back to the very beginning of Torah Torah and Parak Rishon, we may have skipped this word, he talks about how a person is created but tell him even in the Hakdama. And he says in the Hakdama, l'fichach, and therefore, roi shiyadame, roi shiyadame, el pulois hakeser, he says at the beginning, he doesn't say that you should be doma, let your telemelechim be doma to Hashem. You should be doma to Hashem, how? Be'pu'ulois ha'keser, pu'ulois ha'keser. Hmm. So we're talking about keser way back. Why keser? Shehein shloishas re'midois shorachmim el yorinois. Because there lie the shloishas re'midois. Half of the We understood until now. I think... I, I don't see anybody discuss this, but it's all clear that we understood that, okay, first we're going to go at, there's two angles here. First we're going to go at comparing ourselves and emulating Hashem from a Shloishas Remidois point of view. And now let's take another point of view, which is the Esosphirois point of view, parent base. No, this is a continuation. Oi, until now we're learning about the Yud Gibel Midos, which is where, where are those Yud Gimel Midos Shorachim and where do they emulate from? Where do they emanate from, thank you. Where do they emanate from? From the Midas HaKeser. 
It's a whole thing comes from Kesser. We didn't, we didn't even get to Sphira Beis. We didn't get to Chachma yet. The whole Yud, Gimel, Midas, Harachamim are all in the Kesser. So now that we said that, let's talk about the Yud, Gimel, Midas, Harachamim, Perak Aleph, Perak Beis, Oid, Lios, Adam, Doim, Elokayna, Besoy, Midas, HaKesser. Let's go back to where we came from, which is the Midas, HaKesser, and look at the rest of Lashen. So, Shei, Yib, Yib, Kama, Gufay, Pe'ulais, and what we need to do, if you look up as one sentence, So, we can't understand necessarily the Kesser, but we can understand what we have to do in a Kesser dick away. Not that we're not yet up to Das. But I'm saying yeah, Das is correct. Das is the Darach, the Avodah Shavu. Let me tell you what I think it means. What I think it means is, you remember, we said, I said this many times at the beginning, middle, and end, that, that you know, the, the, people tend to say, um, you know, when you, especially when you learn Torah and Devarah, like, I, you say, well, don't be jealous. Look, I'm only human. This seems to be the Amas, you know, I'm only human. So I've said this many times, that human is a very, very big thing. <laughs> There's no such b as I'm only human. I'm human. Not just a balach. Human. <laughs> so human is big. Why is human big? Because human is a repetition of the Eser Spheroes of HaKadosh Baruch Hu in this world, the bottom half of the rainbow. So what we're talking about, um, there's what we think we can do and what we think we can't do. And then the knowledge that we're B'Tselem Malikim, so therefore, okay, I don't understand it, but I can do it. Me- meaning meaning our, our abilities to perform in a, in, a, uh, in a godly fashion go f- way beyond what science tells us it can go or what, what we think we can do. Because we think of ourselves as only human, but if you think of yourself as superhuman, human, <laughs> human being a super thing, so then what it means is that we're back to the Midas HaKesser again. All of those Yud Gimel Midos that were so hard to do, they can only be done because we're, we're Davik Takarish Baruch Hu Midas HaKesser, and it's Taka unknown. We, we, it is unknown how Hashem does it. It's unknown how we can do it, but a person can do it. There's a Siyata Deshmaya that a person can do it. Uh, what can we do? Can we pick up a car? Can we, can we, uh, can we, what we can do is, it's not, it's not about heavy muscle activities, it's about heavy spiritual ability. What we're able to do is go beyond what everybody considers to, have, to be human and do things which are godly. Forgive somebody who really hurt us. That's harder than picking up a car. You know, that's, that's, uh, it's, it's that, there's, that there shouldn't be that feeling of, uh, of hurt, that there should be a feeling of forgiveness, real forgiveness, all of the 13 things that we learned and reviewed this all comes from the Midas HaKesser. So what we're saying here is, again, like I don't, I don't think there's any other chance to learn, that until now we were describing to you Kesser, which is the Yud Gimel Midas. Now we're describing to you something else, which is Od Liyosa Adam Daim Lukaina Kesser. Furthermore, in Kesser is the Midas HaNavah. So let me do the math for you. The math goes like this, that, that in, we're learning about Kesser. We're learning about one thing, and we don't understand it. In the Kesser comes 13 mitos harachim. Hashem, Hashem, kel rachim v'chanam. Or the Lashon of Micha, Micha, Kamocha. That's, in the, that's in all in the Kesser. Now in Perak Beis, he says that the Iker and the Rishayna of mitos ha-Kesser is what? Anova. So it comes out, here's the math, that the Pshat in doing all the Yud Gimel mitos harachimim all comes down to one thing, which is anafa, the prerequisite, the, pre- the prerequisite, and the and the the frame of, of, of everything. If you're not an anafa, you can't be rachum, you can't be chanun, you can't be erechapayim, you can't do any of it. Above time and space. So 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 the the idea of anivus, he's telling us here so profoundly. Such a shame people stop at the end of the first paragraph, because here he's telling us the whole thing. And you want to you want to bo the hamido alachas. You can take everything and turn it into one thing. So he says the Iker of the Midas HaKesser is, is, is Anava. And what's Anava? Let's just, before we end, and what's Anava one more time? 
Anava is not the I'm a nothing because that doesn't that's not helpful. What what Anava is Hayish Moshe Anav Maod Mikol Adam Asher Bars. The pshat the pshat Anava is that I'm only here for the next person. I'm only here for the for even more so for the Malchus of Hashem. You see the the. Um, this is the Gedolim, the Tzadikim told us that the, that the way to daven is to never daven for yourself. The spell about Chaver and Nenat the, the, the way to daven, if you want to be Matzliach, it's tricky because then you're... The, the, the way to daven, if you want to be Matzliach, is, is to understand that I'm not davening for me, I'm davening so that I can help other people. If you want to be mispalo for Parnassa, let's say, the way to be mispalo for Parnassa is not, listen, I, please, Hashem, I want two cars in Nova Scotia. The, the, the way to daven for Parnassa is to say, how else can I help my children? How else can I help Klai Yisrael? How else can I, can I, can I, uh, can I have the kavod, enashkina shari, el al chacham asher v'gibor? So everybody's entitled to, to daven, the, the, the Sfarim tell us, to be a chacham, right, do we want anything more? Chacham means that we have the, the smarts and the wisdom to be able to, to, to function in a very high level. The gevura, chacham ashir, rather than ashiras. The ashiras is we can function on a very high level financially. And gevura, and we're healthy. But what else do we want to ask for? So we're asking for those things. Why? Because I want the Shechina to be shari on me. If I'm asking because I want to be a Chacham and Asher and a Gibar, okay, me Odea. Spalo B'schus Who knows? Do you have the Schus? You don't have the Schus? Probably not. Probably not. Why? Why? Uh, probably not. But if, if I'm looking at it as, as um, I need this in order to do my job in this world because I am the Mishkan Hashem, Bilvavi Mishkan Ebna. I'm the I'm the Mishkan Hashem the Chayvus Avos. I'm the Mishkan Hashem. So in order for me to have Navua, in order for me to teach other people, in order for me to influence other people, in order for me to give tzedakah, in order for me to be a link in the chain, I need three things: Hashem, Chachma, Ashirus, and Gevura. Okay, you got it. It's not for you. It's for me. It's for them. You're just a link in the chain. It's done. Baduka Manusa. This, this, this is a tefillah of the works. Almost bandok and manusa. So, so I'll tell you a halacha. I'll end off here with, with a halacha. There's so much to say here, but we have time. The, the, the halacha is the marshal says in Baba Kama, pretty well, I think, the, the, the Yamshel Shlem. The, the marshal says that the person, if a person makes a statement that, um, well, I get much more than I, I have much more in life than I deserve. Sounds nice? Like you wake up in the morning, like, it's good, it's a nice machshava, right? <laughs> like, wow, you know, if I wake up in the morning, it's a nice day. <laughs> Automatically, and I'm, and I'm breathing, and I have parnasa, and I have a wife, and I have children. Like, I have, uh, I have much more to deserve. So it's a marshal, Oster Lloyd Marquet. Okay, Oster Lloyd Marquet, party pooper. Oster Lloyd Marquet, he called 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 <laughs> what do you say? If his work gives you more to deserve, but it'll taste you should get more to deserve. And as Marshall says, La Halacha. Kid, I love to say, Akadosh Baruch Hu's Bavater, and he gives me much more than I deserve. That's the wrong thing to say. Elaba Yoyimar says, The Marshall, Baba Kava, beautiful Marshall, or you wouldn't expect to find it. Not a Moser say, in the Absha Shlom. He says, Elaba Yoyimar, Beschus Avais. Beschus Avais, I have much more than I deserve because of what. My father, grandfather, all the way back to Avram Yitzchak and Yaakov did. Baruch Hashem, I'm, I'm, isn't it true that uh, if, if somebody has a tremendous amount of mazel, it's it's, it's it comes, um, I believe the Magen Avram, if I'm not mistaken, I have to find the Magen Avram, there's a long Magen Avram where he speaks about all kinds of miscellaneous uh, uh, things and and and. and, and um, maybe something like that. So the, the Magad Avram says that um, it's also okay that if you say, I have much more than I deserve, b'schus haboim acharai. Means that it's okay to go that way, it's okay to go this way, it's not good to stay here. So this is the ultimate anivus that either I had, and probably there's no steering, right? They're both have us. I have schus habois, why? Why do I have schus avos? Because I am going to be one of those avos. 
I'm, I'm, I'm going to be my children's grandfather. Right? I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to have the schus avos of being able to give out to the next generation. Hence, I could say, Hashem gives me much more than I deserve. I'm allowed to say it, not a voucher, and it makes sense. And so I'll add this, um, you know, Haber adds this, and you should say it. <laughs> and you should say it, because once we know the secret of, of, of the chain, so now it becomes perfect to be able to say, um, now become, that, that Hashem give me chachma, ashiros, and gevura. Mental capacity, we don't want to lose that. We want that to be stronger. Uh, financial capacity and, and health. But that's, that's what we want. Give it to me because I'm going to use it well. Give it to me, I'm going to use it well. Your mama should become like a teller in the bank who says to the manager, I'm running out of cash here. <laughs> more money you want. <laughs> Uh, those customers are coming. I gotta give them cash. I need, I need more cash here. So the manager comes with the key. Blah blah blah. Gives gives, gives a million dollars cash. But uh, you know, it's, uh, nobody's complaining to the to the clerk, to the teller. You know, you're using too much money. <laughs> On the contrary, you're doing a good job. Everybody wants to stand in your line. You're doing you're doing a good job. It's, it's a good thing. So that's the omnivus that we're speaking about, Paragalov and Paragbase. I think. I, I look. I think. I think um, where he speaks about Balkoimar, he has a bunch of missiles. There's a number. Near the beginning of Or in the middle. Or a high embrace. Around Phyllis Mintha, around there. Ah, okay. So, why, why did Moshe Kodav ever feel the need to write the Sefer in the first place? Like, what was going on at the time? The pricing. Yeah. And why did he call Tim Redver? Right, yeah. <laughs> I don't know the full answer. I'm sure there's a very uh, complex historical answer. But um, one thing I do know is that right after the um, Spanish Inquisition and the, and the expulsion from Portugal and Spain, so there was a big um, movement to organize everything and get it back to where it was. there was a lot of confusion with Christianity on the one hand. Um, so I think, and, and with Allahism and Hagim, everything got lost. So that's why Rabbi Zakharo, what he wrote in there, Rizal what he wrote, Rabbi Moshe what he wrote. I think more specifically, the, um, the, the, the Christians made a huge Roshim. Um, and they, they used a lot of the idea of being the Tzalem It was like a big part of that, that a human can, can look like a Kaddish Baruch Hu. And, and, um, the, the, the underlying um, understanding of the Tamar Devar is that, that the, the idea of a man walking around thinking that he's God is completely untenable to live out of It doesn't make any sense. But what it means is something, something so much deeper and so much more profound. And that's where we have to uh, look at it. Heads, heads to safer. So you see how, how a, a negative time in history brought out such a positive uh, leader that would never have been taught. If not, that it needed to be understood what it, what it really means to be in